Finally, Writer Zen released this very interesting new update. It's called Domain Authority in the Keyword Planner. But not only that, they also released the new Domain Focus feature. Anyway, welcome back to Digital Toolcase. If you like my channel and this kind of content, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. As you can see in this page, Writer Zen has still a lifetime deal available. I don't know if this will last long but if you want you can purchase this tool for the lifetime and choose one of these different plans as always I suggest at least this all-in-one plan because you have a good number of keyword credits a good number of keyword clustering you have unlimited AI writing and many more futures anyway you can find the link in the description if you want and you can also try it for free for 15 days without any credit card but uh, let's take a look at this new update. Uh, it's from January 22nd. Uh, this is the Domain Authority, a new metric to boost your SEO strategy. So what you can do with this new update, you can identify your weak spots and improve them. You can optimize your keyword research and targeting using Domain Authority, and you can filter your keywords by Domain Authority. This makes uh, Writer Zen quite similar to Lofruits and to Rank Atom in some way, but let's dive in and take a look. For this example, I want to use a keyword planner research I already did in one of my previous videos. And if you want to see how you can do your keyword research in Writer Zen and have this kind of clusters, you can watch my other videos. You can find the link here in the description. Anyway, once I have my clusters, Clusters. As you can see, I now have this new button here. It's called uh, Activate Metrics. But I also have this Domain Focus. Maybe we will watch it later. As always, I have my data here. So keyword, trend, if it's a trending keyword, the volume, the CPC, the word count, uh, intent, brand name. I can also use different filters. These are the filters I can use. Or I also have these many other filters. I can add in these columns. But here in the activate metrics, I have activate golden filter and activate DA score. This is what I want to focus on on this video. So I click on activate DA score. I have this pop up now. Click on confirm if you wish to activate domain authority DA score. And obviously, this will cost some keyword credits. And this is why I was suggesting to choose at least these all in one plan if you want because as you can see here you have 50,000 keyword credits you obviously have more with this all-in-one advance these are the credits you need to do your all-in title and golden filter research and now even the DA filter so the more keyword credits you have the better so I just need to click on this confirm button Writer Zen is searching for domain authority values. And as you can see, now I have these new two buttons, the A score and the weak spot. OK, so now if I move my window here, as you can see, I have these new columns, weak spot, lowest domain authority and highest domain authority. These two buttons are filters, so I can filter by minimum and maximum DA score or from the minimum to maximum weak spot. This means that uh, this keyword has a lowest domain authority of 34 and highest domain authority of 94 in the SERP. So if I click here, I can take a look at the SERP. And as you can see, the first result is the highest domain authority. And then I have this 34 here. So here I have a very quick look. This keyword and SERP, for instance, has a lowest domain authority of 11. So there will be a site with 11 here. This is a low domain authority site. This means that uh, this uh, SERP is quite good, but I 
suppose I can find uh, even better SERPs. Here I have this weak spot, it's uh, giving me the number, so it's saying in this SERP you have one weak spot. And this is it because, as you can see, it's even highlighted here, this 11, and in this case I just have one, I have zero in all these keywords. Let's see if I can find SERPs with more than one weak spot. I can even filter from here, clicking on weak spot, let's say I want minimum two weak spots, let's see if I have something in these clusters, and as you can see I have some keywords and some SERPs with more than one weak spot. This has four, for instance, where to message for headache relief, uh, let's take a look, it's not a high search keyword, but it's pretty good, I suppose. So if we go here, we can see I have some weak spots, uh, 22, 26, 15 and 16. Writer Zen is considering any domain authority lower than 30 as a weak spot. So this could be a good keyword. If you want to use this kind of metrics, you also have some keywords with two weak spots. As you can see here, we have a 22 and a 16. The difference between Writer Zen and Lofruits or Rank Atom is that here you can only see the number of weak spots and then you need to open the SERP and watch for yourself where these weak spots are. While if you use Lofruits, for instance, you can also see directly where they are placed in the SERP. But anyway, this is a very very good new update here in uh, Writer Zen. I really appreciate it because this is one of the metric I often use to search for good and easy to rank keywords. It's natural that when you have many weak spots, probably your keyword is not super high volume, but you also need these kind of keywords in your content. And obviously you can also filter by domain authority. Let's see now if this also works in these keywords explorer i'm just curious so you can filter even for domain authority before clustering let's try and here i made a quick search for gardening tools i also filtered but i can't see the same option so the domain authority filter is only available into this keyword planner tool as you may know writer zen has different tools topic discovery keyword explorer keyword planner content and creator and plagiarism checker. Now let's take a look very quickly at this new domain focus future. It's designed to enhance your understanding of both your competitors and your own domains. So you can do your keyword analysis, clustering insights, topic analysis. Let's try to see how it works by clicking on this domain focus. I see you can only choose one of these domains. These are all domains you can find in this topic cluster. So uh, they are your competitors or maybe you can find even your site into this list. So let's take one of these just for the sake of this example, healthline.com and I can click on focus on domain. So now it's giving me all these keywords filtered only for this domain. As you can see, I can see for each keyword the position of healthline.com in the SERP. And if I open, I can even see it better here. I can even get rid of some columns here that I don't want to use right now. So I'm a little bit better in using the interface. So now I can see very quickly where my competitor is. In this case, let's suppose it's healthline.com. I can see their total volume, the average CPC and many other data here filtered by a single domain. Interesting because I can continue to view my weak spot, lowest domain authority and highest domain authority data here. Even when I filter, when I focus on one single domain, stop focusing, let's try another one. 
let's say this uh, gov.au this is a pretty high authority domain and I can see where they are in the SERP with this keyword they are in the fifth position and so on this is very quickly how this focus domain works in this new writer zen update and this is it these uh, two new updates are pretty interesting especially in my case this uh, domain authority and I hope you agree with me anyway I think that's all for this video, remember you can find the link in the description and you still have the chance to purchase the lifetime deal for Writer Zen. this is absolutely one of the best lifetime deals I ever purchased on Absumo, they are not on Absumo anymore, but now they have this lifetime deal, again I don't know until when they will keep it alive, so if you want take advantage of it really really quickly and again you can try it for free for 15 days no credit card i hope this video was helpful for you if so please click on the like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon in the next video